My name is Norm Finkelstein. I was kidnapped by the Nassau County Police at midnight on October 9th. Uh, it's hard to conceive what this whole process is of just getting arrested. It's like these sequences, steps, to just humiliate you, degrade you, and break you morally. It's like how to tame a horse, a wild horse. It's an excruciating process of systematic, methodical, but most important, protracted humiliation. I was in my boxer drawers. I was just about to go to bed. They said, put on your clothes. I said, no. You're kidnapping me. You're kidnapping a 64-year-old man. It was all so calculated because October 10, I was supposed to appear in court. They waited until the night before I was supposed to appear in court. And it was obvious what they were going to do. I would be trapped in the so-called criminal justice system while my court appearance was supposed to be happening. And then I would be issued with a warrant for my arrest because I hadn't shown up in court. And I couldn't show up because they were re-arresting me. They took my arm, yanked it hard. I thought it was going to break, but obviously they know how to yank it just short of breaking it. Pinned me up against this bookshelf. And they went to my apartment, found clothes, put it in a shopping bag, and they took me down just in my box of drawers. Nothing else, literally. Nothing else. They put me in a, a cell where the usual, the process begins. One of the guys said, to treat him like a sack of potatoes and then banged my head on the ground and then they started to just treat me like a, a sack of potatoes the handcuffs were on my back they were tight so each time you know it hurt they got me on some sort of I guess it was a gurney The only nice people throughout each of these ordeals is always non-white. Sorry, you don't want to hear that? I'm going to say it anyway. The only nice people are always non-white. And the nicest are always African-American. Well, that's just a fact. Sorry. I want to hear it. It's the truth. So I told them everything that happened, how I ended up there, and they told the police, well, we did our psychiatric evaluation. He seems perfectly fine. And then they said, fine. He's wearing his underwear. He's crazy. They tilted up the wheelchair and I fell on the ground on my head. And then they picked me up, just threw me, you know, with the handcuffs in the back of the car.